so um if I put a rib across there, which I may or may not, if I put one across there, I'll probably just uh, glue it in or screw it to the frame rather than the bottom. Or I'll glue it, maybe Gorilla glue it to the bottom and screw it to the frame. Then I don't have to uh, put any screws through the floor since I've already sealed the floor with three coats of sealer. And, uh,. These rough cut uh, boards, they turned out pretty smooth after I sanded them down. I spent some time sanding them, and as you can see, they're not perfect. Uh, this one has a little bit of a round edge here, probably from the way it was sawed from the tree or whatever. And then th there's a, a worm hole or something there. And the same here, there's like some some sort of a wormhole or something there but um, rather than go buy any more lumber for the seats or anything like that this is just stuff that I had laying around here from another project and this one's 8 inches wide and this one is 12 inches wide and I think there'll be plenty good enough. I noticed uh, some of the boat seats they have like a they have a leg here for a support or structural support and I just put cleats on the sides but my plywood is half inch thick so it's pretty it's pretty sturdy and the, the board is a one inch thick board So I think they'll be good. And the nose, I painted all inside of the all inside of the nose. So I'm gonna put another one more coat inside here, and along the rails. And then. Uh, after that dries, we'll see if I can flip it over and do the bottom side again for the fourth time, for the fourth coat.